couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, my love. She will save his soul. Even if this time, she can't save her own. The beast has Delian. No! It's time. You're not taking it from me. Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. Uh, on the last episode we defeated, well we actually didn't defeat the dragon, the dragon actually saved us. Uh, for whatever reason, decided to spare us, um, and as a result we've ended up here. Now I'm not sure how close we are to the end, but I'm pretty sure we are approaching the end game, so... Let's see what happens next. It's not going to let me run. This is foreboding. Well. What is that? I didn't ask you to be a part of me. If you don't want to die with me, then leave me alone. I don't want to die. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Can't see. Can't walk around it. Did uh, Sedler just get rid of all her internal demons? It's not like the old stories, is it? The noble warrior facing evil in search of victory and honor. Clear dividing lines. No. Oh, this place is not quite like that. It's as if it knows that true torment lies within memories you cannot defeat cannot escape this is her hell all right let's go into the light
Defy the gods like your mother, and the darkness will come for you, too. You understand, son? This is probably going to be the final battle, I'd say. Hashtag pray for Senua. I'm going to go... Isolation, the pain that still haunts you. It was the only way to fight the curse within you.
Whoa. Oh man, this is this is tough. I'm so scared right now. Go on, Senua, you can do it. Go on, Senua. I'm trying to save you from yourself. You said that it is a lie. The plague of darkness, the butchering of the nearby animals, men. You saw it yourself. You told everyone I was cursed. They believed you. I believed you. Tell me, Senua. Where is Hillian so if the darkness is alive? How you save him?
lies. I know he's here. You took him from me. You have him. Dillian is gone. Dillian is dead. Let him go now. I'm warning you. Or what? What can he do to me that you haven't already? Fight me. Come on.
Oh my god, what the hell?
quest. Nothing. And you will have no power over me. I learned the hard way to not be afraid of death, Zeno. Because a life without loss is one without love. You turn your back on death, and all you can see is the shadow that it casts. The longer you hide from it, the longer the shadow grows until all you can see is darkness. When our time comes, we must look death in the eye and embrace it as a friend. Only then can we let go of our fear. And emerge from that darkness. Never forget what it is like to see the world as a child, Samuel. Every autumn leaf is like a work of art. Every rolling cloud a moving picture. Every day a new story. We too emerge from this magic, like a wave from the ocean, only to return to the sea. Do not mourn the waves, the leaves, and the clouds. Even in darkness, the wonder and the beauty of this world never leaves us. It is always there, waiting to be seen again. Wait, 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 what is it? it 
This is where my story once began. And so it has to end here. Because I cannot see further than this. Follow us. We have another story to tell. be your story to witness. What an ending. That was amazing. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what was going on. I think it all came down to Senua just fighting her own demons. I think most of what we experienced was battles going on in her mind, especially after losing Dillian and how she dealt with that loss, I think. Fighting those demons and learning eventually to let go of Dillian and then move forward. I think that's that's the story, the, uh, the plot of this story, um, fighting all those inner voices, those dark voices and uh, finding a way through all that uh, into the light and learning how to maybe not walk away with, uh, from it but um, just deal with it uh, and uh, yeah, move on with life. It seems like that's my interpretation anyway but far out that was super intense uh, I wasn't sure whether when I died at the end whether permadeath got me right at the last stage or it was part of the plot so stressful uh, my fingers were getting tired dodging and thrusting and punching and kicking and defending myself uh, I'm glad it all worked out in the end for Senua yeah that's amazing I would highly recommend anyone who's been watching this to give this Go, this give this a go. Um, play it yourselves because this is.
quite an experience this was fantastic I really loved that so I hope you enjoy that that was uh, I certainly enjoyed playing it um, yeah uh, I think I'm gonna leave it here thanks for watching if you've gotten this far um, oh, actually before I go I'm, there's a making of Hellblade feature which I might play it's about 15 to 20 minutes so what I might do is make that a separate video that will play straight after this final episode so if you like that and want to see how what we're in the process of making this it explains really well what psychosis is and uh, how they applied that to Senua how she was fighting these uh, voices and visions and all the psychotic episodes uh, really well um, speaking to real-life uh, people who've experienced the psychosis psychiatrists and how they integrated it into this game so that was really interesting um, so if that's something you want to know about just watch the video that I'll post straight after this one um, yeah. no I won't instead what I'll do is I'll post a link in the description below ninja theory have uh, posted that same uh, Hellblade feature on YouTube so that's probably the best thing to do and avoids any potential copyright issues so yeah I, I recommend it it's a great little video so I'll leave it there and uh, yeah we'll catch you next time